Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually gonna show you guys on how to fix a, a Linux error called kernel panic, I think from what happened to me. So when I do try to boot one of my Linux, this row here, this one, I will get this pop-up error. This right here. And when you press any key, you immediately get a another screen saying kernel panic. Now, there it is. So this one. So it says BFS unable to mount root FS on unknown dash block zero zero. So the way to fix this, there is a command for this. I'm gonna try to boot up a older version of my distro, which I'm gonna be doing that now. Now the only way, now we actually need to force up the computer here to actually fix this. So I'm gonna try to force it off, and it will, and it, and it will shut off. I'm just gonna turn it back on and load up to the additional uh, older version of my distro that I have, and it should work as in booting up like a recovery mode. And we're going to insert just one simple command to fix that stupid issue. Now it's just gonna go here to the second one, this one right here. This was the 6.15, it's broken. Now let's try to see it. The 6.14 works. It should because I really don't use the other versions for anything else, unless if I get that pop up. So I'm just gonna go and log in. Let's see if it actually boots up. This might take a little longer or faster, depending. Okay, so it did found it. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Perfect. Okay, sweet. So I'm able to log in. So I want to fix that issue. I'm going to go in, put in my password. Should be able to log in normally to the older version. And now once we're here, use this when I go to the terminal. Okay, guys, once you are here on the terminal, you just want to put in this pa this command. So I paste it right there. I put in that command sudo drag cut regenerate all fours. So we're gonna enter that and that will fix the issue. Now I put in my password. Now it's gonna take a few seconds. I'm gonna let that load. Now let's just give that a few seconds. Oh, did it froze? No, no, no. Error, it is still running. Okay. Okay, it's done. So that means it actually fixed it. Now, well, all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot that computer. Go reboot that. And I restart it. And now we can actually launch the one that was broken. I don't think this is like an absolute fix, but for me, just using that command, it actually fixes. Just fixing one should fix the issue. But if they were all damaged but one, using that command will see us basically fix everything else. I'm just gonna wait for this to reboot. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. Okay, so the computer is almost done booting. Okay, sweet, there it is. Okay, there. Now, this one should already be fixed and it shouldn't give us the issue.
Let me try to enter now. Okay. I don't see anything. Okay, just let's give it a few more seconds to load up. My screen just went on black. Oh, uh, okay, there it is. Okay, perfect. So I can see it didn't get the resolution, but that will fix itself later on once it actually recognizes it. Okay, I think it finished loading. There we go, perfect. So now it did get the right resolution, perfect. So now I am able to log in again to my computer with the other old versions fixed. That's really great. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoy that this little video because it did happen to me because the only way I was able to make it is just to fix that computer issue that I had because this actually does happen to me because I love to do like a lot of experimenting and uh, sometimes it's just messed up. Well, as always, guys, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now.